he couldn't believe he just got his cheeks clapped. He didn't think this stuff happens in the UK. William is born in the United Kingdom from a rich family but he was a rebel. William never listened to his father. He went to a private school but always caused trouble and never thought anything bad would happen to him but boy was he wrong. William got sentenced to 20 years in prison. His first couple of weeks were fine because he was on an induction wing so William thought prison was so easy and was nothing to be afraid of. Before going to prison William's father told him to be careful because prison is tough. William told his father this is the UK and nothing will happen to him in prison. Once William got to prison they moved him into a cell with this big black guy called Colin. Colin was doing 40 years in prison and had a big fat smile on his face when he saw William move in. The first thing Colin said was, well, they brought me a supermodel. William didn't know what Colin was talking about because there were no girls in the prison so William just thought Colin was talking about the female guard that brought him to the cell but in fact Colin was talking about William. William was a 5 foot 9 male medium build and Colin was a big black guy who was 6 foot 1 with muscles. Once William was in the cell the female officer slammed the door and Colin offered William some noodles and a tuna. William gladly accepted and said thanks. William said you are a good guy Colin. When I first saw you I thought you might try to bust my cheeks. Colin went silent and said I will never try to bust your cheeks because you will give it up to me without putting up a fight. Why do you think I gave you the noodles and tuna? I have to look after you because you are my new girlfriend. At that moment William knew he was in trouble because the cell door was locked and there were no guards around to save him. Colin walked towards him and said bend over and give me some chan chan. William said no, leave me alone as he started to walk back towards the cell door. Colin said don't get me angry you will not like when I'm angry. Just be a good little woman and give it up and that's when another guard came to the cell and opened the door. The guard looked into the cell and asked what was going on. Colin said nothing and that's when William ran out the cell. It was time for social activities and William was safe for now. William ran looking back to see if Colin was chasing him and that's when he bumped into Joey. Joey was the leader of the white guys on the wing and he was not a man to mess with. William said sorry to Joey and Joey said don't worry it's fine. Joey asked William if he was okay. William said this big black guy called Colin was trying to bust my cheeks and I was saved by the guard opening the door. Joey said I know him. Colin the booty bandit. He has busted a few guys cheeks already so I will help you and protect you. You will move into my cell with me. You will be safe and no one will be able to hurt you. William said thanks. Joey said we will move you into my cell right now so Joey called two of his white boys and they all went with William to his cell where they saw Colin. Joey told Colin from today William is moving in with me. Joey was also 6 foot 1 with muscles and so were two of his friends. Colin feeling outnumbered he agreed William could move out so William got his things and moved into Joey's cell. Once social activities was over Joey and William went back to their cell. William thanked Joey for saving him from Colin. William said if you didn't save me Colin would be busting my cheeks as we speak. There is no way I could have stopped him from taking my booty. Joey was serving 40 years. 
His body was filled with tattoos and he loved to smoke and his entire cell stunk of cigarettes. Once the door was closed Joey changed from being nice to bad and told William you are going to give me those cheeks woman. William said what's going on, first Colin tried to take my cheeks and now you. I thought we were friends and I thought this stuff didn't happen in UK prisons. Joey says of course it happens, we only say it doesn't happen so more girls like you can come and get your booty cheeks blown out by men, like me and Colin. Now I am not going to tell you again. Bend over and give me those cheeks now. Joey backhanded William and William held his face in shock. William had never been hit before in his life. William pleaded with Joey that we are both the same. We are white guys and shouldn't be doing this to each other. Joey said to William we are not the same. You are a posh rich white boy and I come from the slums. If we were outside you wouldn't even look at me you posh little weasel. Me and you are not the same kind at all and that's when Joey backhanded William again, bent him over, took his trousers off and started to clap William's cheeks. Joey put his dirty sock in William's mouth to mute William's loud screams. William was too in shock and didn't even try to fight. Joey clapped William's cheeks for the next half an hour and gave William a cream pie. William was traumatized because he couldn't believe what has just happened. He couldn't believe he just got his cheeks clapped. He didn't think this stuff happens in the UK. He thought it only happens in America. At that moment William thought of what his dad said to him for years and reflected on how much of a bad person he has been in his life. At that moment William wished he listened to his dad and never did anything bad. At that moment William wished he could turn back time and do everything all over again. William came from a good family went to private school but somehow ended up in prison with scum like Joey. After Joey finished clapping William's cheeks Joey said from now on you are my new girlfriend and you don't talk to any other prisoners unless I say you can. Everywhere I go you follow me. Do I make myself clear? William said please just leave me and Joey slapped him and shouted you are my woman. When I Say jump you say how high, you listen to my every word, am I clear rich girl? William said yes sir as he held his face in tears. Joey pushed William back onto the bed and proceeded to clap William's cheeks again for the next hour. While William was getting his cheeks clapped out he thought to himself, what am I doing here? If only I had just listened to my dad.